Now, intake rates. Every soil has its own intake rate. They're probably, you could find a soil in Washington that would probably match a soil in the Ukraine that would be identical. Half a world apart, very similar climate, very similar soil types. Uh, they might call theirs Gorbachev silt loam and we'll call ours Walla Walla silt loam. Could be identical soil. But they're going to have different names because the names are regional. You can find very similar soils all over the world. They're going to have different names due to the fact that they're in a geographic area. They're going to have geogra names of the geographical area. So all the names around here, the soils are names of like Indian tribes and so on because that was the norm for naming things at that point in life. We know that intake rates are going to be much greater in soils that have greater, bigger pore spaces. Not greater amount of pore spaces, but bigger pore spaces. So therefore we know that intake rates are going to be greater in sands than they will be in silts. Silts will have greater intake rates than clays. And clays are going to be the worst of all. Intake rate simply means how fast water will enter the surface of the soil. But you know that intake rate isn't a constant thing. Not at all. So the concept of intake rate is very important. The x-axis will be time. Generally in hours as we look out time. The y-axis will be the intake rate and it's going to be in inches per hour. And a typical intake rate of a soil is going to look like this. Okay? Very rapid when the soil surface is dry then that's pretty obvious. When it's dry, it's going to take water a lot quicker than as it starts to get wet. So we have instantaneous intake rates when we first start up the irrigation cycle. Water's going to penetrate very rapidly. Very rapidly. And we give this some value. Say this is a silt loam soil. I'll throw some numbers up here to give it some, some value to us. This value right here, let's say that's about 0.25. And so up here, this would be 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1.00. And that are, those are inches per hour. Quarter of an inch an hour, half an inch an hour, seven, 75 hundredths of an inch an hour, one inch per hour, okay? Out here, this might be, at this point, maybe three hours. So we come in here, this would be like one hour, two hours. This would be characteristic of a silt loam. If you looked up wall wall silt loam, Palouse silt loam, it's constant intake rate once the soil is to the point of field capacity or near saturation will be quarter of an inch an hour. So we can go out here and put a hand line system or a wheel line system, hand line, wheel line, solid set, turn it on, let it run. We want to let it run one, two, three, four, eight hours, twelve hours, twenty-four hours, forty-eight hours, It'll just keep taking water once it hits its constant at about a quarter of an inch an hour. As long as we don't put water on faster than a quarter inch an hour, it'll just keep soaking in. We go greater than a quarter inch an hour, we get above this line, it's going to puddle or run off depending on how flat the ground is. We stay below the line, it'll all penetrate into the ground. That's why you go out here and see a guy running a wheel line and it's running, you drive by the next day, it's still running in the same spot. You drive by the next day, it's still running in the same spot. But there's no puddling. 
because it's all going into the ground because the intake rate of the soil and the permeability of the soil is allowing it to soak in at a rate at least as fast as we're applying it. What would happen if he tried to put it on at three-tenths of an inch an hour? Whoops, we got a problem, don't we? Instantly we got puddling. After three hours, it starts puddling because all of a sudden we're applying it up here. So there's that much of that water that's not going in the ground. If there's any slope to the ground at all, it's going to start running off. We have a little river coming out of that field. So we have to design systems to match the intake rate of the soil. It's that easy.